Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Minecraft Survival Multiplayer. I'm currently on the Minecraft Survival Server, all by my lonesome. Today being Friday, the 13th. Eek. So we must tread lightly and carefully. I shall squat to this entire episode. Make sure I don't fall. Break my neck. No bad luck today. Just kidding. Um, but there's some really good news today, and that is The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog, is out today. So, um, I'm going. I'm going tonight, maybe, when the kids get home from school. It is uh, It's kind of early in the early, uh, well, actually late morning. And I'm just playing here while there's a lull in the action and I, I tweeted out last night I'm sorry I haven't put out any videos in a while it's because uh, well a lot, a lot of stuff going on here at home um, let's take a ride with Ferris I was gonna take the uh, take the tea the nether hub tea but uh, let's just take a ride we'll chat a bit and let me fill you guys in on what's cooking here um, so November was very busy. I have two birthdays in November. My wife and my youngest son. Don't you be snorting now. I'm sorry. I've been away. I wasn't neglecting you, little Mueller. Um, so, uh, so, so November's pretty busy. Of course, it's Thanksgiving as well. Uh, so that's all past us now, which is great. However, we are now in the kind of the, uh, the holiday season, right? I mean, this is its getting down to the wire. Today is the 13th. Um, so there's a lot to be done in that respect. With three kids and a wife. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty busy time. Uh, so, yes, winter sports have started up too. My daughter playing ice hockey for the first time ever. She's a field hockey player and has been for a few years. And she's great at that. But the whole ice hockey thing... Is has kind of taken us all by surprise, and that's kind of a new learning experience for us here. <laughs> learning about ice time and how practices sometimes start at ten o'clock at night. Um, I'm sorry, eight o'clock at night. We don't pick her up until ten or eleven from practice. What the devil is this? Then? Is, is this mine? It's eggs. Eggs, I says. Eggs. Woohoo! We got eggs, everybody. Legs, eggs, eggs, eggs. Did I say legs? Eggs, 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 eggs. Oh, sorry. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Why do we have eggs? Who did Dickens gave us eggs? Oh, did you see that? Whoa. That chicken just landed in, in uh, the Superman puff of puff cloud. The superhero puff cloud. When they land, that is one nasty chicken. Um, anyway, so we have that as well. My son, my oldest son, is uh, wrestling. Oops, I forgot I had an automatic door closer behind me here. Um, so that just started up. So that's taken up a lot of time, obviously, and um, my, other, my youngest son has indoor soccer. And that's not even the big thing. The, the, the biggest thing here that's kind of kept me away from doing any mind crack or a lot of recording in general is construction going on at my house. Hero Pig, you still here, buddy? Hero Pig's still here. Let, we gotta make this official. Poor little Hero Pig. Let's just go make this for once and for all. Our Hero Pig. I have one name tag left over. We're just gonna do this. Whoops. <laughs> I have 40 levels, so... I, I guess I can spare a few. Hero Pig! ba 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 ba, -ba Hero Pig! Dun, dun, dun. Here we come, buddy. You've been vigilant out there. Steadfast and true. Ye old hero pig. Watching over tree fort. Tree house. Since time immemorial. Immemorable. Wait, did I say that? Immemorial? Immemorial, I believe. Yes, since the very beginning. Harkening, harkening back. I'm using fancy medieval words. Harkening back to the day when I first stepped foot upon this wild land and claimed it as my own, saw that tree and decided to put a house on it. Hero Pig was here from the very beginning. He must be recognized. Let's do it now. Let's grab some dirt. I don't think I can get up there with the dirt that I have, so... 
get a little extra. So anyway, yeah, the, well, the big news is the construction going on at home. In fact, I tweeted out last night. I said, hey, guys, I apologize for not putting up any Minecraft, but here's what's happening. A uh, little construction going on. So let me know if you guys want, if you don't mind listening to a lot of background sound. It's going to be some hammering, some drilling, some pounding, some uh, s some buzzing. And you can hear it right now. Hear it? It's construction. That's what I'm talking about. I'm coming here, oh big. Hang on there, buddy. Let's get this right now. I think that's how you do. So, yep, yeah, you're going to hear all that in the background. It might be annoying. It might uh, be loud. And extremely conspicuous. But that's what it is. So, And it's right outside my window. I work in the basement. This is my office down here. My man cave. Whoa. Hit. Big. Oh, man. Friday the 13th. I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> oh, no. Precarious. Precarious. Hello. I can't go up any farther because you'll hop off there. And I need you to be vigilant forevermore, Mr. Hero Pig. You ready? You ready for this? I wish I had some fireworks. Dun, 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 dun. Good enough. Hero Pig. Ha, ha. You are, you're now in the phone book. No, Hero, what are you doing? Hero Pig, no. Oh, you. All right, wait. Wait, what, what? Oh, this is bad, Hero Pig. No, I, just because you got the new title doesn't mean you can run off now. Oh, my gosh. Hero Pig, what are you doing? All right, I got to leave you. Sorry. Goodbye, Hero Pig. Stay. Okay. It's not as he doesn't have quite the vantage point as he had before. He's a little lower than before. Oh, all right. Well, he's good. He's got uh, one more year left. Another tour of duty for his service to his country, and then um, he'll be free. And then we're gonna let him go. He doesn't have to be up on <laughs> this block up here watching for criminals and what would be uh, prankers, etc. What the? Huh? Well, is this something new? You get to keep your name tag after you put it down on something? I have to finish up at least the wing we're working on in the uh, in the museum. And that means we're going to go... In fact, we're going to do that right now. We're going to head underground here. Um, that's bizarre. And get us. I'm going to go over here into the mine shaft because I need the mine cart pieces. And this is my mine cart. Might be my mine shaft, which I have right over here. Uh, somebody block off my my hole? Somebody plugged up the hole? Uh, oh, I hear you, hole. Hang on. Coming for you. There we go. Who the dickens? Maybe I did this and I don't remember. Might have. Okay, this is the hole. Oh, wait a minute. I'm hearing some feats. We've got 35 levels. I do not want to lose these. These are natural born levels. Earned. The blood, sweat, tears, tooth, and nail. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, can I have that? Give it up, says I. What we want here in order to complete the museum is we want um, we want some of the uh, the beam here, and we want some rail. And I suppose we'll take a chunk of this as well. And a torch. Natural torches only. We want the stuff that grew here. Right? So this this is all authentic. Now I want to be cautious of what I take here because a long time ago I mentioned that um, right, this is my fence. So let's... This is unnatural fence. Let's get rid of that. 
Well, it's not unnatural. It's just not part of the mine shaft. <laughs> I mentioned that um, I wanted to make a rail system here. Like a monster rail, a theme park rail. And we're going to have like a ride. We'll have the other Minecrafters will be able to come in and, and, and uh, pay a small fee and take a ride through an authentic ancient mine shaft that will be restored by Ma moi. Hello! And I think Vex is going to join me on that too. So I have invited... Whoa, what the heck? Seriously? Okay, this is... This is laggy. This is... I'm not liking that. Drop my... Uh, drop my stakes. The stakes were high in that battle, you might say. Or were low, really. So I... If you recall, I did invite Vex to uh, help me out with this project. Oh dear. Alright, let's do this. Chuck that. Grab this piece. Got it! I just want to make sure we got the authentic pieces. And... Um, oh shoot. Alright, I, I don't want those. I don't want those anymore. Get out of here. I just want the authentic ones. So he is going to help. In fact, he contacted me on Skype a couple days ago and said, Hey, when are we going to do that rail system? So that's what's going to happen. We want to do a... Uh, uh, like a monster a ride here. We're going to dress this up really nicely to look like uh, an old um, ancient mine shaft. And it'll just be automatic. You'll get on a cart and you'll go. And it's going to... This We're thinking, or I was thinking originally, that this would be glass. We'd cut all this out. Not all of it, but some of it would be glass. And behind the glass, we'd have monsters and really you know dark rooms so that the monsters can spawn back there. And... Uh, you know, you can just go on the ride and feel very safe while laughing at the monsters. Hey, I'll take that wood. Oh, darn. Come on. I want... Okay, that's the piece I want right there. I want a couple of those. I'll take them from underneath. All right, so we have that. Some regular cobble. Some mossy cobble. And again, this is going into the museum, so I want actual authentic pieces directly... From the uh, uh, straight out of this place, out of the uh, uh, the dungeon, and I'm just gonna repair these with my old stone. That's the old regular cobble. This is the stuff from the dungeon, and I just want to make sure I have enough to do what I needs to do. I'll grab one more of those. Yellow. I'll grab a couple more. This could be an authentic torch right here. Um, this is tricky because I don't want to mix it with this one. All right, you know what? It's the one right on top. Okay, there. Yep, I got it. That's the one. That's the one. It was the one right on top. <laughs> Trust me. And now I'm gonna put fake, <laughs> um, non-authentic torch back up top. I need a rail and I need a mine cart and I don't have a mine cart. Shucks. Shucks. And a mine cart with a um with a chest in it too. So what you know what this means, don't you? It means we're going to have to go on an adventure to find these things. Authentic dungeon pieces. I before E except after C. Okay. Good thing for rhymes like that, huh? Because I would forget everything. Oh, I'm already down a heart, and I but I do have some splashy potions. And I wasn't happy about set on fire, honestly. Due to lag. Sheesh. All right, I have not been here in a long, long time. So, uh, I don't remember... What parts of this I've actually explored and what I have not explored. So, should be interesting. Should be interesting. Up. Vex and I do this? Oh. This might even be natural here. <laughs> no way. Did I... 
Wait a minute. I must have left this. I sure it's kind of a dilemma. Um, I, wow, that's f fortuitous. All right, you know I'm gonna take it, uh, but I do want an authentic one for the uh, for the museum. So we're gonna we're gonna take that. Whoa, whoa, holy mackerel! Did I get it? I've got the cart. Pumpkin seeds will go in a treasure room. That's part of a treasure. It's not much of a treasure, but it used to be. Right? When you can only get pumpkins back in the old days of Minecraft from chests. Now, of course, you just find pumpkins in the wild. You kids got it so easy these days. Back when I was a kid, we had to hunt for our pumpkins. We had to find the pumpkin seeds in dungeons. We had to go uphill both ways in those dungeons. Barefoot, in fact. That's how we used to do it. Kids these days. All right, well, guess what? I'm back. So let's just go ahead and take this. I'm going to put the sand here. Take this piece. The cobble. The torch. The uh, beam. And the rail. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need any more rail. Let's just take two just in case. I want to do something fancy with it. All right, we're out of here. I'm going to head back to the museum. I will get these pieces up. And uh, then we'll figure out what we're going to do with uh, the next section of the, of the museum. Which is going to be... Well, there's actually two sections. What the deck? Devil. <laughs> well, I was going to say with the Dickens and Devil and I got deck. What the deck is that? Is that a Doc Trump thing encroaching upon my lands? Will I have to declare war? Are we going to have a border skirmish here? Mr. Doc Trump? I like my lands natural. Like, thank you very much. I don't need all that industrial smoke puffs and... Uh, <laughs> uh, smog. And uh, big and towers, industrial uh, antennas and towers and smokestacks up above my uh, my beautiful, serene and peaceful... Mountainside, snow-covered mountainside view. It's like the Lorax over here. Ride, Snowcap, ride! So that will be the next project. We'll be deciding, um, once we get this wing done, this current wing with the uh, natural structures, the ancient buildings that we've discovered in Minecraft, we're going to move on to... I think we'll start... We'll, we're going to do the Mind Crack History Wing. Because I don't have a lot there, honestly. Right now, I don't. I'm going to be um, putting out a request for everybody here on the server to give me pieces for that. I have maybe half a dozen things. I've got Beef's first block broken on the server, and I'm so glad he gave that to me. That is just so awesome. Hey, Seth Bling... I wish I had had the forethought when I first started on the Minecraft server to grab my first block and keep it. So that was pretty cool. Um, I've got some stuff from Doc. Uh, the Notch. Doc has something from, from Notch, too. Some block that he broke. The last one broken over in his industrialized zone over there. Uh, <laughs> he's got that. I've got a sword from him. Got some armor from him. So he's giving me a few pieces. I've got something from Pyro, a glass block or ice block. I'm not sure exactly what the significance is there, but I'll find out what all these pieces mean as far as uh, their historical um, significance. And we'll have to figure all that out. In fact, let's take a look. We have... Well, these aren't all artifacts. These are the leggings, the only surviving piece of equipment that uh, from the first Wither fight. Here's Beef's first block, which he actually named, so I would remember... Like Dothraki, horse meat, that, eh, you know, it doesn't have to go there. We'll see. We'll, you know, here's the magical floating block of ice, which means something very um, significant, I guess, to uh, to Pyro. This is from Pyro and his fans. So, stuff like that. I'm not even sure how much more I have of that. That could be it. Which is pretty bad. I'm going to have to put out a general call for goodies. So we have dungeon. Um, 
This might be an extra here, because dungeon really only has... Well, there's only three things from a dungeon. Right? Um, oh, shoot. Oh, darn! I gotta go back for the chest. If I put the chest down. Arg. Gosh. I, I, every single time I go out, I forget one thing. Uh, you know what? It's pretty close. It's not that bad. So. All right. Um, that, the cobble, and, of course, the chest. This will be temporary. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I have a list of things to 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 grab when I go out to these places, but the list is on a document, and I have it up on my Macintosh here, my little Mac on my lap, on my desktop, my real desktop. But half the time that thing is off, and I don't start it up to read what I'm supposed to be getting, because I do keep notes, and I have nice notes for every time I sit down at this computer to do this kind of thing. I'm like, all right, here's what we're gonna do today. We have a plan. And about 50% of the time, that plan falls through. Lovely. Because I don't really pay attention. Or rather, I don't have that file on hand. All right, well, that's it for the dungeon. Um, here's where I could put the, the fake generator and just say, here's a monster generator replica or something. So that would be four pieces. Ow! Hey, is today Friday the 13th or something? Yeah, right. Because I just hit myself on the head with a block of wood <laughs> by placing that down. It took a half a heart of damage. <laughs> anyway, so I think I have a plan here. I mean, I could combine everything, but I don't want to do that. I want, kind of want to spread things out. So over here, we will have the torch um, alone. And this is the support beam, we'll call it. Support beam will have this uh, the vertical uh, fencing and then the plank on top, which is a support beam. Um, without any glass on top, I suppose. We've done that before. It's not that big of a deal. Um, and then over here... Oh, I want to go get this stone. And this is just temporary. I'm going to go and grab an authentic stone with a silk touch. Because the rail is on stone, what we're going to do is something like this. And we'll have the rail. And then this cart. Um... What do you do? Oh, pff, come on, really? Like that. And now that there. And get rid of the dirt without touching the cart. This is going to be a mess. People are going to walk by and bump into this constantly. Although maybe that glass will keep it there. I don't know. I don't want to hit it right now. Um, and then over here, we're going to do the same. I bet I could put glass on top of this, though. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. All right, man. Check it out. Yeah. Woo. Um, and then I got to put glass over here on top of these fellas. And I still have to go get that uh, the chest and, of course, the two pieces of stone, which I'm going to go do right now. I'm not going to waste any time. I want to get this done. Just want to get it. Get her done, man. So that's the fake stone. Uh, let's make a little space here. And then we, we're off. We're off into the wild blue yonder. All right, so I didn't do that. Somebody was here. Somebody stopped in and then replaced that. I need my silk touch for the stone. My homeland destroyed there's a tear rolling down my cheek as I look out over this one time beautiful land destroyed for industry and the greed of man <laughs> Doc's place <laughs> nothing against Doc he does uh, he's got the whole German engineering thing going on over there um, and he's good at it which is great. That's his play style, and I don't hold anybody, um, you know, I don't judge anyone. If that's the way you want to play, then go for it, man. But as um, long as you stay on that side of the mountain, we'll still be friends. <laughs> All right, here we be. By the way, so the future of Minecraft, right, for me, 
Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about that as well. Um, I will... I'm, I'm going to be doing some... Uh, well, I'm going to finish up the museum, obviously, and then I'm going to be getting involved in some of the play Minecraft.com minigame. So Minecraft started up a uh, kind of a minigame server, and there's right now there's, I think, two different minigames that I know of, and there may be more in the future. Um, I'm not really sure, but it's play Minecraft.com, and it's supposed to open, might even open today or tonight, so anyone can play. As far as I know. All right, is that all I need? So I've got the chest from the dungeon. Now I need the stone. I'm just looking for a good couple of blocks to take without disrupting too much here. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Just take these two guys. Um, actually, it's going to have to be this one because that one wouldn't even have rail on it, right? I'll take three just in case, and I will replace them with cobble for now. There. Three authentic stones right out of the mine shaft. Don't you know it? Okie doke, we're back at the museum. Let's get her done. So there is the chest from the dungeon. And then we have our authentic stone from the abandoned mine shaft. And, ooh, little sound delay there. Um, oh, shoot. Am I going to be able to squeeze this guy in there with that glass? Yeah! Nice. Excellent work. And then this guy here. So, we've got the rail, minecart chest, support beam, and a torch. And the dungeon's all set. And again, I'll maybe put something here to represent the uh, the spawner. I'm not sure yet what that will be piece of wool or some such and uh, I just have to do the signs and I think dang nabbit I think I think we're done Ex oh oh I've got to get the slabs from the uh, right the slab there and the slab over here at the, at the uh, stronghold and the desert temple and then we're done <laughs> all right just putting the finishing touches up here with the uh, with the signs just designating the uh, the donor for all the jungle Ruin items, which happens to have been Adlington on December 2nd. And I think we're all done here. By the way, someone has suggested putting a redstone torch underneath the redstone dust to light it up, make it more visible. That made awesome sense. Thank you very much for that. So I think we're all done here, although I'm going to put the... Uh, I have to go back for the dispenser as well. The arrow shooter, we're going to call it. And um, we'll put it right here. All right, let's just put up the final... Looks like five signs left to go. Did all these signs just to... Let everybody know that these were donated by moi. And we'll talk a little bit about um, yeah, PlayMineCrack.com. I intend to hop on there and play with uh, you guys and the Minecrackers occasionally. What I like about this idea, although I'm not a huge fan of, um, of minigames, I do like that I'll be able to make some content. Quick and easy content. And uh, also get to play again with you guys and the other Minecrackers. All right, so I guess that's it for now. Um, let's take a look. I just have to get so there's just a few more things to get, like some dates. Um, I have to figure out when these were found. I have to get in touch with Adlington about that. I'm not sure when he discovered this jungle ruin. But um, I'll do all that off camera and then we'll finish this up and then we're done with this wing essentially. Although I do need some like tips here, factoids about some of these. So if you guys have any ideas, put them down in the comments. I'd love to see factoids about any one of these. It doesn't look like I'm going to have too many per per uh, structure, but maybe a one or two per structure. And it will fill up these two end walls, bulletins, or whatever the heck they are. We'll just have factoids here for all the different structures that are being represented here on these uh, pedestals. All right, I'm out of here, guys and gals. We'll see you soon. Hope you enjoyed, and happy Friday the 13th. And remember to squat and walk really slowly today. Keep your eyes open. Pay attention. You don't want to slip and fall and break your neck or anything. Your, your neck. That's basically your neck is your neck and back together. Um, yeah, so don't break your neck. And uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs> 
All right. Take care. Bye-bye.